So somebody sent this to me this morning, and I thought this was intriguing. We had been talking about before the season started who was going to replace the Josh Reynolds role, and I think we can safely say that that individual is Tim Patrick, and he's been doing a good job kind of and, – and that's when the offense really got rolling. Also, Khalif Raymond. Khalif Raymond went from like an underused punt returner, and I think personally he told Coach, like, yo, Coach, I want to play more. So Dan Campbell, Ben Johnson, has he's been in the game. Khalif Raymond has played more than we've seen in a very long time. Don't forget, he got hurt at the end of last season. He missed the entire playoff run. He was hurt in the Minnesota Viking game, the last game of the season. He missed the entire playoffs. I personally believe that if we had both a pass rusher and if Khalif Raymond plays, I think we our chances to win would have been much, much higher uh, to get to the Super Bowl and win it. I think we would have beat the Chiefs regardless, but with Raymond, it would have helped quite a bit. So Khalif has been showing his, his his true skill, man. Shout out to him. But I saw this trade proposal, and it involves a wide receiver. Now, just for the record, I am fine. I think we're good. I would like to see something from Allen Robinson. He he really hasn't done much. Can't I don't know how much he's been targeted, but I would I don't think we need a wide receiver. We've got Tom Kennedy on the practice squad and also Donovan Peoples Jones on the practice squad as well. So I don't think the Detroit Lions make a trade for the for a pass, I'm sorry, a wide receiver. But, you know, Brad has done that before, a la Trinity Benson in the offseason and Donovan Peoples-Jones last trade deadline. So there's a guy that was suggested by SI, but this, the Tennessee Titans, suggested that maybe this wide receiver could come to the Detroit Lions. But it actually came from Sports Illustrated, one, I guess one of their parent companies or something like that. And here is the trade deadline for a certain wide receiver who plays for the Tennessee Titans. Says Matt Mazzano and I'm sorry, Gilbert Mazzano and Matt, man, Verderam of Sports Illustrated took a look at one trade that every team should make before the deadline. And it came to the when it came to the Titans, they stated that Tyler Boyd should be traded to the Detroit Lions in exchange for a seventh round pick Tennessee hoped to surprise this year but it didn't happen with shabby quarterback play and a crush of injuries with that in mind the Titans ought to move Boyd who is 30 years old and slated for free agency while Detroit has ample weaponry Boyd is an experienced hand in the slot who gives Jared Goff another trustworthy target they wrote now I'm telling you right now I don't see the value in this I mean, if you told me that you're giving me a seventh round pick or I'll give you a seventh round pick and I got my pass rusher, I'm not going to trip on that. I mean, I don't really think seven round picks amount to anything anyway. As a matter of fact, the ones on our team are not, they do not affect our team. We have Jamar Jefferson. He really, he's on the practice squad and has been on the practice squad his entire career pretty much. He might've been, no, he was always on the practice squad. He's never made the 53-man roster. Then you have Antoine Green, who was not trending up very well, got hurt. And then you have Chase Lucas, and he is now plays for the 49ers. He was he might be the one that made the biggest impact. He used to be a monster on special teams. So I don't think the seventh-round pick would be worth anything. But do we need him? Now, what has he done this year that is Tyler Boyd? Let me see. I think I got his stuff pulled up. 6'2". He questionable right now. 30 years old or 30, he'll, he'll be 30 in two weeks. Exactly. This year only has 21 receptions for 184 yards. I don't think this is Tyler Boyd's fault. Have you seen their quarterback play? Will Levis was not trying to win any games for the Titans. So this doesn't discourage me because I know what this guy was capable of. I saw him in Tennessee last year. A moderate, this is a wide receiver three numbers right here. All of this is wide receiver, but I also believe Tim Patrick can get these same numbers. So I am i don't think that this is something that the Detroit Lions would do if we look at his, his uh, contract. Wow, that's now this is dirt. This is dirt. Let me see. Does it tell you? It doesn't even tell you what he was going to earn this year. Like the breakdown, well, I guess this is it. 2.4 was his salary. 1.2 was guaranteed. I mean, if you told me I could give you a seventh round pick for Tyler Boyd, 
I don't see how we would use him with he would have to replace somebody on the 53-man roster, and that somebody would be, okay, let me ask you guys this. Would you exchange Tyler Boyd for Allen Robinson, including the seventh-round pick? So you take his contract. You, you would have to get rid of Allen Robinson at that point. You moved him to the 53, which means he's over four years. You could cut him and maybe have him return to the practice squad. So I don't think this happens. I wouldn't be mad if it did for the trade capital and all that stuff, uh, but we need a pass rusher first, and we have to put all our assets to that. So let me know what you think. Tyler Boyd for a seventh-round pick, and he's also a free agent at the end of the year. Very. This is Donovan Peoples-Jones 2.0. In my opinion, he would be better than that trade there. So let me know your thoughts.